So, what do you know about drug laws? I got the Rockefeller laws. And what does that mean to you? Gosh, Aisha. Um, I need more information on that. Wasn't this about um, the people no longer pleading guilty? I don't remember. What we gonna do right here is go back. Way back. Back into time. By 1800, the British consumed 10,000 tons of tea each year. So much money poured into China that a Chinese trader became the richest man in the world. But now, the age-old economic superiority of the East was under threat. Britain had found a product to reverse the balance of trade, opium. The British invested massively in the manufacture and distribution of the drug, trading it for China's tea. The past several years, the Reagan administration has been involved in an expensive, sophisticated, highly publicized campaign to stamp out drug smuggling. But for some time, there have been startling accusations that the United States government itself may have actually helped bring drugs into this country as part of the effort to supply arms and perhaps money to the Nicaraguan rebels, the Contras. CBS News correspondent Jane Wallace. What's new is that some of those who flew guns down to the Contras also flew drugs, they claim, back to the United States. All of this was part of an arrangement that included former and current CIA operatives. Why in the world do we have millions of innocent young people wasting away in prison when the big people who are committing these huge, atrocious crimes are getting away every day. We're, what, what's happening here in America is that our government inadvertently supplying the hard drugs to the people in this country, then they're putting the people who use them in this country in jail. You pay somebody to build a fancy cave, then you fill it up as far as you can get it, which is pretty full full of people that the people that built the cage get paid forty or fifty thousand dollars a year to just keep in the cage. Five thousand people in your cage and you're being you're being paid thirty, forty thousand bucks a year for them. That's a lot of money. And if you can on top of that use them as your private property, as chattel property, that you can then make do work or make produce things that you get paid for on top of that. What a great deal. Now, where I come from, when you transform a person into a piece of property, that's called slavery.